I'm Liz Lang, founder of Liz Lang Maternity, America's top maternity fashion brand, if I do say so myself. Today we're going to be talking with some beautiful moms-to-be about maternity style. Maternity style. Some women think those two words shouldn't even be used in the same sentence. I'm here today to show you that they should be and they absolutely can be very easily. You don't have to wear ruffles and bows. You don't have to look like you're turning into a baby. You can still be the sexy woman that you always were. You don't have to sacrifice a thing when it comes to style and you don't have to spend a fortune either. It's really about a philosophy, a way of dressing. It's absolutely not about a price tag. Um, today we're going to talk with a lot of moms-to-be and we're going to discuss tips and we're going to show you how easy this whole thing can be. So stay tuned. Today we're talking with Alex. She is a first time, first trimester mom-to-be. We're going to talk all about the first trimester today and Alex is actually going to help us. The thing that I always like to say first and foremost about the first trimester is on the one hand, it's extremely exciting. You've just gotten this wonderful news that you're pregnant. On the other hand, it can be quite confusing. Your body is changing, but it hasn't really popped out fully yet. What to do about your wardrobe? Do you wear the clothes you already own? Do you wear your new, new maternity clothes? Do you run out shopping? I'm kind of famous for kicking people out of my stores when they try to shop too early. Shopping too early is a mistake. At the beginning of your pregnancy, maternity clothes are simply going to be too big on you. And my mantra is always fitted is best. So you definitely don't want to find yourself in something oversized. That's just unattractive, unappealing, and certainly not sexy. What you really want to do is look to your own closet. You don't want to look to your husband's closet, Alex. That's sort of this old wives tale that you look, you raid your husband's closet. You don't do that. That's just a bunch of oversized sloppy things. Look at your own closet. You probably have so many things at home that perhaps are A, a little bit big on you when you're not pregnant, or B, nice and stretchy, or fi finally C, perhaps you could just, you know, do the old trick of leaving the top button open or unzipping it a little bit, wearing a longer top, and you could probably make things work. So let's use Alex and talk about how we can specifically work some really fabulous first trimester outfits. So Alex, <laughs> you look great today. You Thank look you. very professional. Tell Thank me, you. what what, I, what do you do for a living? I work on Wall Street, so I have oh. to dress very professionally. Wall Street to mom to be. That is definitely, because when you're a Wall Street mom to be or you work in an atmosphere like that, you really have to look neat and pull together every single day. And I think another interesting challenge of the first trimester is often you are not ready to tell people you're pregnant yet. So your look is changing, which is awkward. You might even be feeling a little bit fat because you're not really feeling pregnant yet. And you're not telling people what's going on. So the, the wardrobe thing can be very, very challenging, but you've mastered it today. Is this actually maternity? This is actually maternity. Oh, and it's, good. it's really, really comfortable. And, and like you were saying, some of the things are stretchy, but they're just comfortable, which is such a nightmare because all my clothes are just starting to get tight. I can't, uh, it's just horrible. But I have to look professional, so I'm kind of caught in, in the middle. It's very, very frustrating. Well, I think you're doing a great job. 
you've dipped yourself in one color. You're in solid black. It doesn't have to be solid black, but dipping yourself in one color, be it black, be it gray, be it navy, is a really wonderful way to go. It's very polished. It's very finished. It can take you anywhere. It can certainly take you to a job on Wall Street. So when in doubt, go monochromatic. You've done that. You put a crisp white shirt underneath it. I think that this white shirt probably doesn't have to be maternity. You could probably just wear at this point a shirt that is your own, a white shirt, another color shirt, because shirts tend to be a little bit longer that way. Also, since you have it underneath a closed up blazer, you can do the trick of opening a few buttons on the shirt. No one's gonna see that. So you can leave your blazer closed and your shirt slightly open. I'll show you how this can be done. Well, Alex is lucky she's been able to keep her shirt closed, but she doesn't have to. I'm not going to show anything here, but I'm just saying that nobody can see. So just remember, if you keep your blazer closed and your shirt unbuttoned, you can get away with a lot. You can also do the opposite. You can leave your blazer open and your shirt closed. I always think it's funny that when women come in our stores, the first thing they're doing is trying to close their blazers, close their cardigans. Do any of us even always do this when we're not pregnant? It's obviously fine to wear an open jacket. So if this jacket was a little bit tight, it happens not to be on Alex, but it might be shortly, she can still get away with it. Sorry, I'm probably tickling you here, <laughs> but um, you could still completely get away with this jacket even as you move further on in your pregnancy by just wearing it open. So just remember that. There's nothing wrong with this look. You definitely want to look for the items in your closet that do have stretch in them. This is nice and stretchy, and that is what is making it work, and that is why it's not only looking good, but I think it's feeling good. Yeah. Alex, you have some things here from your own closet at home that I think you wanted me to go through and tell you what I think. Could they work for this trimester or not? I have um, just some stretchy pants that look pretty good. Stretchy pants are great. Again, it's all about stretch. These pants actually have real waistlines. Of course, they're not gonna work for long, but they will work for now. You could push them down a little bit low, wear something longer on top. These are great ways to cheat and get away with the first trimester without spending a bundle of money. Interesting, this is a side zip. This is a great example of a pair of pants that she could leave open on the side, even somewhat unzipped or half zipped if her belly is starting to get a little bigger, and wear something longer. She could wear, for instance, either one of these two shirts, which I think are from your own non-maternity yeah. wardrobe. These are great. They're, They're nice and long. Perfect undersuit. And on the weekend, you could throw these on over a pair of non-maternity jeans in your first trimester and just keep the jeans unzipped. Again, today, everything has stretch in it, so all of these things do work. Blazers. Like the one that you're wearing today, this blazer with this matching pair of pants is nice and long. It's going to cover areas that you're feeling a little bit uncomfortable with, even as early on as your first trimester. Again, a great example of a blazer that could be worn open. It's a nice neutral, and it will help you continue to feel like you in this awkward, no women's land of the first trimester. These are pretty skirts, and I think that they do work for the first trimester. My advice to you would be, as you move on and you do buy some maternity clothing in your second and perhaps your third trimester, I would stick to skirts that are a little bit shorter. I think when you're getting pregnant and you're feeling bigger, you want to find some places that you're probably not bigger and show them off a little bit. So I find that sometimes if you wear big long skirts, you can almost look sort of amorphously big. But if you wear a shorter skirt, you can show your knees and you can show your pretty calves. And I think that would be nice and still office appropriate. Obviously nothing mini for a Wall Street right. woman, but certainly something to the knee. However, it's your first trimester and in your first trimester, you really don't want to spend money. And if these are the skirts you have and you can wear them unzipped, I think they're great. And they're nice and neutral. So you can wear them again and again and not feel that everyone in your office is thinking, why does she keep wearing the same three outfits again? You can really trick these up differently. And I think that's a great thing to remember when you're shopping for your first trimester, when you're shopping for your second trimester. You want to wear things that everyone's not going to remember all the time that aren't so specific. I love this piece because it's a pop of color. It's longer and it's a knit. It's a really pretty knit. It's sort of a matte jersey, soft jersey. Matte jersey can be your best friend when you're pregnant. It really barely wrinkles. You can dip yourself in it. You can have matching pants to this, or you could have a black pair of matte jersey pants that would go with this. It's a beautiful underpinning for a pop of color. Another look under this blazer. Today you're wearing the white blouse. Tomorrow you could wear this under it. It would be a whole new look. You can wear this on its own. It doesn't even need a blazer 
over it. It's got a nice short sleeve, so you're feeling a little coverage, but still showing a little skin. Mm -hmm. So I think this is a, a fabulous top, and it seems long enough, and it seems stretchy enough. It may take you further than you think. Now that's my favorite sweater, the turquoise one, but I don't think I can last in it for too long. It's a, again, it's, a, it's such a beautiful pop of color. It's a great first trimester pick. It will be a great secret fourth trimester pick, but we'll get to that later. It's not probably going to be a go-to piece in your second and third trimester, simply because it's not going to be long enough, and it's going to start to ride up. And I don't think it has lycra in it. Although it's a knit, so it's naturally stretchy, it doesn't have that extra power of some real stretch. But I think it's perfect for right now. So for first trimester, this is great. Again, it would be really cute under this blazer as just a different color. It would be adorable on its own. It's a great weekend piece. It's very versatile, and I like that about it. I think we're facing some similar issues with this black sweater. A beautiful sweater, super stretchy, yeah. which is great, but not really long enough probably to really go the distance, mm -hmm. but a perfect first trimester yeah. option. Perfect. Oh, good. Yeah, and it feels it because it's soft. You really want to remember this. Your body is changing. Your skin is changing. Look for things that don't have an itch. Alex is responding to things that are softer, that are really making her feel comfortable and cool, not things that are making her hot and itchy. I wish you could all touch this fabric because it is so soft and so yummy, and that's why you love it so much, and I can certainly understand that. This is actually my favorite piece that you have on your whole closet here. What is so wonderful about this piece is there's nothing maternity about it. It's just a little cute poncho. It's kind of a poncho sweater. It will work for your entire pregnancy. It is inner wear or outer wear. You could wear it with a little tank under it or just a bra under it because it's nice and soft and it could just be a top. But it's a great piece to throw on even over what you're wearing today if it's a little bit cool out and wear it outside. It's a wonderful neutral color. It's phenomenal. It's, it, it's like maternity that's not maternity. It's a layering piece. It's, a, it's an on its own piece. It's a neutral piece. It's a dress up, dress down piece. This really has all the Liz Lang buzzwords going for it. So love this piece. This will be your one of your mainstays of your maternity wardrobe. Let's just sum up what we've learned here today. The first trimester. You want to shop. Resist that impulse. Do not run out and shop. That is going to be such a waste of your money. The clothes that you buy during your first trimester will either be too big on you or they'll be small on you and right on you, but they won't fit you in your second and third trimester. So please, ladies, don't shop during your first trimester. Look at your wardrobe and be creative. We all have pieces like Alex's pieces that we can make work. I think people always feel overwhelmed. Don't feel overwhelmed. This is so easy and it's so much fun. Have fun with it. Liz, I need to ask you, what are the best fabrics to wear during the summertime? Because I'm due during the summer, and it's hot and humid and just absolutely miserable. And I'm worried that I won't be able to wear any tank tops. And can you please give, give me some advice of what's the best thing to wear? You know, I get this question so often. I'm so glad that you asked that. Um, actually, I myself was due in the early fall with both my children, so I was, you know, in full bloom to, over the summer, and I actually find it my favorite, favorite um, season to be pregnant in. I think it's the easiest season, and I'll tell you why. When you're pregnant during the summer, you really can get away with just wearing simple dresses. They're very cool. They are um, very comfortable. You don't need to like layer on like a suit jacket and a tank underneath it and a pair of pants. You should just find easy shift dresses, mostly in cottons. Mm -hmm. Cottons are very, very comfortable. They're perfect for the summer and they're very appropriate. So I would wear a lot of simple cotton shift dresses. They don't even have to have a waist. Very 1960s Jackie O style. I love that. And you can wear that with a pair of simple flats or a pair of sandals and you're good to go. You're finished. So I think it's actually the easiest time of the year to get dressed for, pregnant or not, but definitely when you're pregnant. That's great advice. Thank you so much. Thank you. Great to meet you, Alex. Nice to meet Good you luck. Too. Thank you. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you learned something, and I hope you had fun. I did. I'll see you next time.
fuck, 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 fuck.